If you're an absolute beginner looking to start print on demand with Printful and Shopify, then this video is definitely for you. Keep on watching. The first step in this Printful Shopify tutorial is going to be to sign up with Printful. I will leave a link pinned in the comments and also in the description of this video. After you sign up with Printful, next step is going to be to sign up with Shopify. Link will also be pinned in the comments and in the description of this video. Once you're all signed up and are logged in on your dashboard, you want to choose a plan. You'll see a button right up here that says choose a plan and if you don't see it, you can easily access it by going to settings, going to plan, clicking on show all features and right here you can see the plans. And right now you can actually take advantage of the $1 a month for your first three months. And after that, it'll be $29 a month. If you choose to uh, go with this package, it'll be 105. And this package right here, that's advanced, 399. So start your print on demand business journey. Literally, the $29 is more than enough. All right. So just pay your $1 a month for your first three months and you'll be good to go. Now the next step is going to be to set up your payments. So you want to activate your Shopify payments and you got your PayPal here. And you can activate any other payment methods that you want to add you can do that right here in the payments section all right now that we got that out the way the next step is going to be to decorate your online store so click right here where it says online store right here under themes you want to click on customize and you want to start decorating your store everything is pretty simple drag and drop plug and play so right here i can click on the announcement bar and i can type in whatever i want and let me back out of here like for image banner you can definitely add an image I'm gonna share with you some resources I highly recommend you check out to decorate your print on demand store first resource is gonna be glorify with glorify you can take your print on demand business to the next level you can create banners logos product images etc inside of glorify link will be in the description next resource is gonna be Canva you can do it all with Canva as well next resource is going to be place it with places you can also get your banners logos videos etc so i highly recommend them for your print on demand business next step is going to be to create your policy pages all you simply got to do is go over to settings click on policies and you can click on create from template for your refund policy privacy policy terms of service your shipping policy all that good stuff all right you can also go on Fiverr to have that service done for you for as low as $5. All you simply got to do is just type in policy pages for Shopify, click on budget, and for max, just put $5. And you want to click apply. And right here, you're going to get a bunch of freelancers that can sit here and do that job for you for as low as $5. Now, let's say you actually got all that information done by a freelancer on Fiverr. You can add all that information in right here. Just click on online store. Click on navigation and right here you can add that information either on main menu or on the footer menu. All right. So you can do that all right here under navigation under online store. Now that we got that out the way, let's move on to the fun stuff. So once you're on your dashboard, just click right here where it says apps and you want to search for an app called Printful and it'll be this one right here. So once you install that app and you sign in, you'll be brought up to a page that looks like this. All you simply want to do is click on start designing. Now this next step is gonna to be to find a print on demand product you wanna put a design on, all right? So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna search for a product. To keep things simple, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a t-shirt, which is gonna be this Bella Canvas 3001. I'm gonna choose that. So once this pops up, you're gonna have some options, right? So you can choose embroidery or DTG printing. I'm gonna click on DTG printing and I'm gonna choose a t-shirt color so I can leave it on that, but I'm gonna choose black. And now the next step is gonna be to drop in the design. Real quick, before we move on, let's talk about some design resources for your Printful Shopify business. First design resource is gonna be my design bundle that's stacked with 41 PNG designs and 24 AI files that you can edit in Adobe Illustrator and create even more designs along with 21 font files. Link will be in the description. Next design resource is gonna be Creative Fabrica. With Creative Fabrica, you can get access to over six million fonts, graphics, and digital resources. It's stacked with over 577,000 high quality print on demand assets to help take your print on demand business to the next level. Sign up for free and download the first 10 fonts and designs for free. And after your 10th download or your first month, it'll be $9 a month, extremely affordable. Next design resource is gonna be Design Crowd. With Design Crowd, to get started, you need to sign up. After you're signed up, you need to launch a project. Pretty much post a project. You need to complete four steps to post a project. Number one, select the design category, the type of design you need. Number two, complete the project brief, the brief or description presented to the designer community. Number three, register your business, personal details with Design Crowd. 
Number four, for design contests, choose the package that suits your budget. You only need a few minutes to complete the order and you can do it all from the comfort of your desk. Link to Design Crowd will be in the description. Next design resource is gonna be Fiverr. With Fiverr, you can type in the search bar, t-shirt designs, and you will get a bunch of designers offering their services. Filter by budget and you can get designs for as low as $5. Now that we got that out the way, let's move on with today's video. All right, so let's say you got your design. All you pretty much wanna do is click right here where it says drop your design here and you wanna upload a new file, locate a design, click on open, click right here where it says apply, and just like that, the design is gonna go right in the center of the t-shirt, all right? So the next step here is gonna be, if you wanna add a design to the back, you can do so. If you wanna do the outside label, the inside label, the left sleeve, right sleeve, you can. Just factor in extra cost that comes along with it, all right? Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just putting a design right here on the front, now the next step is gonna to be to hit proceed to media. So right here I get to choose my mock-up. If I wanna use a model wearing uh, you know, the t-shirt with the design, I can choose a different model. If you just wanna use a plain t-shirt you know, with your design on it, you can choose that as well, all right? Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it on this one. Click on proceed to details. So right here you can actually name your t-shirt, okay? So I'm gonna put something like, just like that. Now, I highly recommend you put some time in and uh, put some thought into your product titles along with your description, okay? But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it as is. You can add tags if you like. I mean, you can put something like t-shirts, t-shirt, then you can put like t-shirt, here, t-shirts, something like that, okay? Now, if you wanna add it to a collection, you could do so, or you can click on homepage. Once you're done there, all you gotta do is click on proceed to pricing. So right here, you're gonna have Printful's price, the revenue, and retail. So if you wanna sell this t-shirt for let's say $20, your profit is gonna be $6.45, okay? So just keep in mind all that. So if you wanna sell it for 24, profit will be $10.45, okay? So definitely uh, just put some thought into your pricing, uh, how you wanna price it, but this is pretty much how it's gonna go, okay? That's Printful's price. This will be your profit here. So right here, you could set your revenue. So let's say you wanna make $10 flat profit, okay? So we could change this uh, 15. We could put something like 10. And as you can see here, it moved it along. $10 across the board for all those sizes, and now the price is $23.55, okay? So. That's how you can do that. Next step is gonna be to submit to store. And just like that, there is a t-shirt uploaded onto the store, okay? So if we go back over to our Shopify dashboard and we click on products here, you're gonna see that that t-shirt is there, okay? So right here is showing up as draft. All you pretty much gotta do is click right here on this uh, under product status, click right here, and you wanna click on active. Now you wanna click on save, and just like that, it is live but one thing I want to point out before I move on with today's video is go back to your online store and right here it says your online store is password protected okay so that means that pretty much anybody that has a password can access your store so in order for visitors to go on your store and shop and you know buy some t-shirts or buy whatever products you're selling you have to remove it okay so all you pretty much got to do is go right here and just remove the password all right so I wanted to point that out just click right here uh, where it says online store, right here by themes, just click on remove password and you're pretty much good to go. Now that we got that out the way, let's talk about marketing. When it comes to marketing your print on demand business, I created a video a while back. I will link it up top and also in the description of this video, but I highly recommend short form content when you're promoting your print on demand products. Let's say you added a new t-shirt in your store with a specific design. You can then head over to placeit.net. In the search bar, you could type in video t-shirt mock-ups. You could even put TikTok videos, things like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a bunch of mock-ups that you can pretty much choose. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. All you wanna do is click on it and you can choose your t-shirt color. So for this example, I'm gonna choose a black t-shirt color, just like that. Now you could change the background, okay? You can have everything congruent. So the design is put like a sky blue. So I'm just gonna go to custom and I'm gonna do something like that. Actually a little more down, okay? I could do something like that, all right? Let's see, 
move it over like that i'm going to choose this color right there click on choose now for gradient you can add another color okay you can do something like black boom okay now here's another gradient color so we could change that as well we can put a different type of blue if we want so we could do something like that just to keep things simple click on choose just like that okay so right here you could change all this information where it says 40 percent off all orders and the code summer code so if you're offering a discount you can actually place that right here if not you can just put your store name so i'm just gonna put online hustles just like that for code i'm gonna put in hustles and you could put in your website right here put something like online hustles bam just like that and it's right here on the side i could change the color of that as well change it to black now what i'm going to do is insert my design click on that upload from device locate the design click on open you can move the design up if you want if you like the way it looks just click on crop and just like that we do have a video that we can actually upload onto our social media accounts okay but before we do that there are some extra steps that we need to do all right so let's say you want to add in another one you can do that right here by clicking on add slide and you can find another model another mock-up that you want to use but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to leave it just like this now in order to download it we first need to play all slides so right now it's processing all slides so right here that's how the video is going to look okay i mean i could change that like another little purple or something like that but let's say you're satisfied with how it looks all you got to do is click right here where it says download next head on over to canva if you don't have access to canva link will be in the description so that way you can get all signed up but once you're signed up you pretty much want to type in mobile video click on enter and you want to start from scratch okay so right here you're going to want to add in that video you downloaded from place it okay so this video here you want to just drag it and drop it in on this first page okay now what you want to do is add in another page and just click on this plus button and right here you're going to add text this is where you're going to include your call to action you could put something like get yours today link will be in the bio so i'm going to click on add heading just like that you can highlight all this information choose a different font you can actually bring this all in just like so and size it all the way up just like that you can change the background color if you want so you say you want it to be like gray you want to change this uh, color white you can do so or you can do vice versa right I mean we could change the background black and we could leave the text white that'll pop that'll grab your attention so once you're done adding your call to action the next step is gonna be to click on share click on download and you're gonna want to download both pages and just click on this button here all right download it's going to download as an mp4 video and now you can upload that video on tiktok on instagram and on your youtube shorts just to reference back this uh first page here this is where that video from place is going to be and the second page is going to be your call to action it's letting them know hey you can get yours today link will be in the bio next resource i want to share with you is beacons.ai beacons is a link in bio tool that plays as a separate website where you can add multiple links such as your print on demand store other products you may be selling etc and you get a unique link which would be a link just like this right here that you can put in your bio on tiktok instagram pinterest and on youtube with youtube you can pin that link in the comments and also in the description of that video and as you can see here i have separate links right so i have hustles ebooks i have my blog you know start a profitable online business you can even put videos on here as well all right so you can have like your print on demand store right here like your best selling t-shirts or coffee mugs you can add that in right there you can do so much all right with beacons and right here you got your social media handles so i got youtube tiktok instagram pinterest and twitter all right and this is the link right here that you're going to be putting inside of your bio so once they click on that link, it'll bring them over to a page that looks like this. And right there, they can actually go and find your other social media accounts. They can access your print on demand store, you know, getting access to the products you're selling. All right. Your best sellers. If you're selling ebooks that you can go and 
you know put all that information here okay so that way your customers can access it all right now that pretty much wraps things up if you found some value consider liking and subscribing and hitting that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any future videos now at this point in the video you may want more information on how to promote your print on demand products as a beginner and that is why your next step should be to watch this video right here where i share with you just that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video